In this video, I am going to show you how to complete this activity. Now, you should have already read the directions, and if you read the directions, you would know that you are going grocery shopping, and you need to find the best um, price per unit. So what you're gonna do is find the determine the unit price by taking the price divided by the quantity. So I'm gonna look at my coupons for, number one says the fresh seeded buns. I'm comparing coupon A or coupon B. Okay, so I'm gonna go and look at coupon A. Coupon A, I can get a 12 pack of buns for $3.24. So I'm gonna take my price and I'm gonna go under coupon A. And again, price goes in the numerator. So $3.24. And I'm gonna divide it by the quantity. The quantity is 12, so it's a 12 pack. Now what I need to do is I need to divide. So I'm going to grab my calculator and I am going to do $3.24 divided by 12. And I get 27 cents. Now don't forget your dollar sign. I'm gonna put my dollar sign 0.27, that represents 27 cents. Okay, I'm gonna do the same for coupon B. Coupon B is $4.50 for an 18 pack. So I'm gonna put $4.50 and I'm gonna put in the denominator 18 pack. Go to my calculator, $4.50 divided by 18 gives me 25 cents. And again, don't forget that dollar sign. <clears throat> okay, now the whole goal is to compare the coupons. Is it better for me to use coupon A or coupon B? Well, coupon A, it costs 27 cents per, uh, it's the unit price. So for per unit, it's 27 cents. Now the unit price for coupon B is 25 cents. Well, I'd rather pay 25 cents than 27 cents. So I wanna go with coupon B. So I'm gonna type B, okay? You're gonna do the same for number two, which is the hamburger meat. You can see those coupons right here. Page two, you're doing the same thing for number three, number four, and your coupons are right here. Page three, uh, number five and number six, your coupons are right here. You're doing the same thing. Now the last page, you are going to go back and look at what coupon you are going to use and look at the price. And you're gonna multiply it by how many times you're gonna use that coupon. So on here, if you read, it says that it's unlimited. You can use a coupon many, many times. So as a restaurant owner, you need five coupons for the fresh seeded buns, okay? So five of those. So if I go back to the first page, remember I wanted to buy, or I wanted to use coupon B, okay? Coupon B is the better um, option for me. So the better buy. So coupon B, I'm not gonna look at the 25 cents. I wanna look at how much am I spending? I am spending $4.50. So I'm gonna go back to page four, and right here's the price. I'm gonna type 4.50, so $4.50. I did not need to type my money, my dollar sign, because it's already included right there. But I'm gonna buy five of those, so five packs of those hamburger buns, okay? So five times 4.50, I'm gonna get my calculator. I like to put the decimal in first, so 4.50 times five, $22.50. So I'm gonna put 22.50. And again, I did not need to put the dollar sign because it's already included. So it's $22.50 for all of those hamburger buns that I'm going to buy. You're gonna do the same with the hamburger meat and uh, the cheese and so on. And then, and then at the very end, you're gonna give me the total. So you're gonna add up all of this and give me the total. Now again, just wanna remind you, cause it's very important, you are not using the 27 cents or the 25 cents or any of these numbers, the unit price, you're not using those right here. 
you're using the coupon price, okay? Very important that you understand that. All right, and uh, that is it. Go ahead and complete the rest of the activity and then submit it to your teacher.